Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video and hope you guys are doing well today. And I want to talk about Frost DK in this video. So I've actually leveled another DK to do this video and it's been so enjoyable. DK overall in Kata is just, in my opinion, much better than Wrath in almost every way. And Frost DK is no exception. They have both the two-hand and dual-wield option to play, and it reasonably is one of the more versatile specs to gear and play just in general. It has a short one-minute DPS window and a wild AoE stun, whilst also doing decent damage. So let's get into it. Now the first thing I talk to is about viability. First DK is one of the easiest specs to play and will sit mid to mid high on the DPS meters, with a perfect setup for short lived AoE adds. Fights like Magma, if you choose to switch to the adds, you'll pump just three or four Howling Blasts into them and do a really, really good amount of damage. They also apply Frost Fever on Howling Blast through a glyph that you'll run almost all the time, so applying your diseases is quite easy. Overall, if you enjoy Frost DK, bringing one to the raid isn't griefing in the slightest. One interesting thing to note is the footage that I use in the background of this video was filmed with my DK being max level about one hour and in awful gear and still being very competitive on damage. Now, Frost DK does require a respec to swap between dual wield and two hand, but having that option is incredible. Whilst in equal item level weapons, dual wield is slightly better, uh, but being a Frost DK means you will have free will to switch between Frost and Blood Tank or Frost and Unholy quite easily, depending on the fight. One of the things I like about Frost is the really, really big obliterate crits, and this gets even better with two hand. It just feels meaty and fun to press. Pillar of Frost gives slight utility and a 20% increase on a one minute cooldown, which allows you to regularly have uptime on DPS cooldowns. Army of the Dead still feels like it hits like a wet noodle, but it has its uses as well. Think like Maloriac last phase. When the tanks die, or if the tank dies, Army is an incredible tool just to pick up and deal with adds for the last 10-15 seconds. DKs also have a combat resin cutter, which should not be underestimated. It's really, really good utility to bring. And finally, one of my favourite abilities in WoW, and a true Lich King moment feeling, is Hunger and Cold. A 1.4 second cast, 1 minute cooldown, 10 second AoE stun. It will come in clutch if used properly. Overall, I think in Wrath, Frost DK is quite enjoyable, and if you enjoy it in Wrath, there's very le little negative changes going into Cataclysm. It just becomes a better spec in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Are you enjoy it? Are you looking forward to Frost DK? Is it going to be a spec that you want to play in Kata? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.